Normally, I would not be starting off with this machine. I'd be doing a back check exercise, but uh, the two machines are being used up right now. So I'm starting off with this, which I think is a good start. I think I should honestly switch over to training biceps first on my back days, and then switch over to that. It's not a back day, it's more of like a full day. So biceps, biceps should be first in my program, and in my way of thinking is, I am fresh. I'm not exhausted yet, I am good to go. So I should be able to go heavier, harder, and more intense, right? With the idea of that, that means I'm gonna be able to apply myself more to my biceps, which is something that I do wanna grow. In my shoulder and arm video, I said that I wanna focus more on my shoulders, biceps and triceps. Uh, I, think, I think that's what I said, something along those lines, but since today I'm training back and biceps, my main focus is my biceps, so I should train those first and then do back. I don't really care if they're too fatigued for what I'm training back because them training back afterwards might tear down the muscle of the biceps even more. It may not, who knows, but I want to be at 100% when I'm training my biceps. I have 105 on here. Actually, I don't know. Well, my best is here, so let's uh, let's take a look. So last time I did this exercise, I did 105 for six and then 105 for seven. So I think if I'm able to beat seven today and go to eight, we can go to 110 next time I do this. Uh, honestly, I might just do a couple warm-up sets with 105 because I I did 70, then I dropped down by 10 pounds because. I wanted to pick up the 25 that was on here. So basically what I'm saying is I did a pretty big jump. I went from 70 to 105. So I might just do like one, two reps like for a few times. And then after, let's say the third time, I will consider that a working step where I'm gonna really try to get eight reps. You know, I'm not sure if this is technically a technique. Like I'm warming up per se, like I'm feeling the muscle work for sure. I'm allowing the muscle to get warmed up, but I'm also at my working weight, but I'm not trying to overdo it with the amount of reps. I'm just sticking to the, to the very low range, two reps, you know, not nothing, nothing too big. The hardest part about this is just waiting, killing time. I'm amped up, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, my girlfriend made me some coffee this morning from the Nespresso that we have. Uh, I finished that up. Oh, today, I'm not gonna lie, today was a strange day. So today was the day I was supposed to get my treadmill, right? I was so excited and uh, what did I have going on? I had a couple of meetings and the treadmill was like three stops away. And once my meeting ended, I was like, I'm hungry, I need some food. Everything in my fridge was frozen. They just replaced it actually. So uh, the guy was coming by to replace the fridge. My meeting was like an hour long and I was, my treadmill was three stops away, give or take. And, uh, I had to make a choice of like what I wanted to eat because I wanted to eat something fresh from me and uh, everything was frozen, which is why the guy was bringing a fridge, so, fridge. So that was out of the question, right? So I couldn't make anything. And I was like, okay, I could go to Chipotle, but sometimes their line is long and I may not be there for me to give Amazon the six digit code to deliver my package. So it's like, reason what? I, I, I'm gonna go my dog, I'm hungry, I need something to eat. This will hold me over. It wasn't the best option, but I, I needed to go in and out. I needed to be quick, because I wanted to be home for what the treadmill being. And uh, got back, ate it. Uh, get a random call from a random number, which I get a bunch of random calls all the time. Sometimes nobody picks up. I'm like, hello, 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 nothing. So I hang up. And uh, I look on the website for the Amazon, right as soon as I hang up, I was like, what if I was Amazon? 
which I don't think they've ever called me, but I thought to like look at their location because I was checking to see where they're at. Okay, now they're here. They're on the way. And uh, I hang up, look out the window, and I just see the Amazon truck driving past. So I call back that number, and it was Amazon. At the point, I didn't know. But uh, they I don't think they even tried to stop. They just drove by, tried to call me. They saw that it was an apartment complex, and uh, that was it. Didn't get my check now. Sucks. It's annoying. But hopefully they deliver it tomorrow. And uh, I can start walking on my treadmill again. I got to start losing weight, which is going to be oh, phenomenal. Oh, yeah. It feels pretty good. But, yeah. Man, that treadmill. Um, it's pretty cheap. It's like 280 something after tax. So once uh, once I get that installed, put together, it's not really gonna take very long. Just put it underneath my desk, start working, walking around, editing, whatever. Uh, yeah, I gotta get. I need to find my Apple Watch. The only I hate wearing Apple. I hate it. But what I do is I want to know how many steps I'm walking, and I want to have a goal for the amount of steps that I want to take. So I put it in my pocket, and I'm walking, and. My goal is somewhere between like 15,000 to 20,000. Uh, it does get kind of tiring from just walking. My shoes just get uncomfortable. The room gets hot. And uh, something I'm going to have to deal with, but you know, it's, it's, it's a good cause for me to lose the room, you know? Uh, while I'm working, you know, it's just, it's the best thing to do. Like why sit down on my ass for eight hours and I can walk? Or at least have to you know, lose weight get more blood flow in me, have better recovery because the blood flow is taking more nutrients to the appropriate places, because that's how it works. Sedentary life is sucks. You shouldn't do it. So you should not just be sitting down for eight hours. You know, after, most people do sit down, pro probably like 90% of, the, of their lives. Like you sit down somewhere. The only time you ever, anybody ever gets up, like the average person is to Go from point A to point B, and those point A to point B, that's a very short distance. Like, we probably spend our time sitting and laying down because we're sit sleeping. So, yeah. All right, let's do another warm up set. This next set. We're gonna go all out. I'm not gonna lie, this felt kind of heavy. I might have just wasted my time, but oh well, it is what it is. I'm gonna go for eight reps, and we're gonna, we're gonna change things uh, today. So I wanna go to 110. 110. Yeah, 110. Just like I did for the shoulder machine right behind me. And honestly, that was that was incredible. I actually went, I went to 115. Oh man, that was good. I can't wait to do that tomorrow because that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And it's going to be a good workout. Like I'm excited to do 115 again and really push myself because before you know it, I'll be at 120. Now I have to apply the same uh, ideology to this exercise and blow up on the exercise, you know? So same thing, same idea, same type of training, uh, lower reps and go up in weight. <laughs> Getting way leaner, bro, from working for sure. I could tell. Yeah, I can see it in your shoulders. That's a good eight reps, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I didn't really feel heavy like I did the first like three set of my warm up sets, but hey, progress is progress. So, two more sets of this, and I, I can finally move on. What's up, bro? 
Back in bias. You're doing some more chest? No, not today. Not today? Man, I'm hyped up. I've had way too much caffeine. I don't think I finished that story about how much caffeine I had. Um, girlfriend made me the uh, Nespresso. When I went to McDonald's, I had a vanilla iced coffee. Only drank like half of it, and I kind of sipped the rest of the half. Well, more like the rest, a quarter more throughout the day. And uh, I also had a monster at some point. So, am I pushing like 400 milligrams of caffeine right now? Feeling pretty good. I personally don't really advise doing that, but I've built a, a tolerance, unfortunately. Also, my job is pretty boring. So I'm like trying to keep myself awake. And honestly, that treadmill, back to the treadmill, it's gonna help me stay more alert, more awake through what I'm doing. Sure, it's gonna exhaust me, I'm not gonna lie, but it's it's sitting down and doing a boring task that just makes me wanna have more caffeine. I'm like trying to stay awake, you know? So moving, and if I'm not moving very quickly, it's just like nice and slow, a 1.5 pace. Not very fast, not slow. You know, make things a lot easier so I'm not like just falling asleep while I'm working. Like, let's not, let's, we've all been there. We've all had that class where we just left. And uh, my job is like that. It's very boring. It's easy, but boring. But uh, yeah. I don't think the last rep actually counts as a full rep. It's very close. So in about 10 more seconds, I'm going to do a few more reps. Kind of treat this one as a rest pause. Get a little bit more overloaded simulation. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> nope, that's not happening. Can't do one rep. I think this is going to be one of these exercises that I... I just have to go up in the weight. I can't think about it too much. And I think the most amount of reps that I should do, and it might vary between the day, but it's going to be between six and eight. Once I reach six reps, I might just go up in weight. Um, or if I do seven, I'll go up in weight. If I do eight, I'll go up in weight. But if I'm stuck at a certain weight for too long, I might just have to go up. Because that's what I did with the uh, the shoulder press over there. You know, it's just my shoulders cannot go up above eight reps. Like they just, they just cannot. They cannot. So I have to get them stronger so they can go up more than eight reps. So strength, like I said, is my main priority right now. So I think for now, seven reps and I'll go up in weight on this machine. So I'm gonna do one more set. I'm gonna add another five pounds and just see how many reps I can do with that. I'm a little fatigued, but that's all right. I think it'll be worth it so that when next time I do this, I know how many reps I can do with 110. I have the five extra pounds on there now, so let's let's give this a try. That was more than I thought. Honestly, I, I thought I was gonna be able to do one. I did more than one. So, this just proves the fact that sometimes I just need to go up and wait. And I, I mean, I can't do it too often. I can't just go up another five pounds next week and say, all right, I'll be sure. I'm like, sure, I might be able to do like one or two, maybe three reps again. But I wanna be smart about the way that I go up and wait. 
I want to be able to achieve as many reps as possible. And I might fail a few times, but I want to make sure that I'm able to do more reps. So with 105, I'll stick with this. Next time I do this, I'll probably be doing like four reps at most. And the next time I do this, I'll do five, or at least attempt to do five, push myself. And then if I stagnate for a while at six or seven, then I'll stay. Actually, no, if I stagnate at six or seven for a while, then I'll increase the weight again. And I just say, hey, I'm not improving. It's been a few weeks now. I'll just go up and wait. But I think I'll be fine for a little while. But just go up and wait if you're stuck. If you've been stuck for, let's say, a month at the same weight and doing the exact same reps, add an extra five pounds, go heavier. But sometimes that's, that's what you need to do. All right, what do I have? I'm gonna do that back exercise now. A pad here. Not sure how that's supposed to help, but I'm gonna give it a try since it's already here. Uh, why not? Like, it's not gonna hurt me. It'll probably help me out in the long run. Who knows? Uh, but I think it's worth a try. For the first time on here, I have 200 pounds on this stack. So last time, the most I've done is 180 for eight reps. So this is a new territory, which is good because it's exactly what we need. It's what I want. So I don't know how many reps I'm gonna be able to do. But for this one, the goal is going to do a max of eight. If I could do eight, four, two or three sets, I can go up and wait. Right now, I think I could do three, maybe four. I want to do more, but I'm doing a 20 pound jump, 180 to 200. I would do a less of the jump, but I can't. It goes from 180 to 200. So there's like no wiggle room. So I'm not really sure how much, how many reps I can do. But it might only be one. If it's one, then I'm, I'm a little screwed, but I could, I think, I, I know I can do more than one. Yeah, more than one. Let's go. Four. Those were a lot of sheet reps. Uh, that was very exhausting, but hey. This is one of those exercises that I need to do some sheet reps to really improve. Um, I try not to do, um, but when I do, I try to focus more on the eccentric, so the lowering portion of the exercise. I'm not gonna lie, it was very difficult for me to do that on here because it's, fucking heavy but uh, over time I'll be able to hold the weight more and more and more and make it go down slower but hey this is a like I said new territory it's a 20 pound jump it's a necessary evil sometimes like I said over the next couple coming weeks these reps are going to look a lot better you know, I'm not going to overdo it um, the muscle is going to break down, so I'm going to be able to support more and more of this weight. But as long as I'm not doing 100% cheat reps for every rep and every set that I do, I will slowly get better at doing this. You know, if I went up to 220, there would be no other way for me to do this exercise without doing nothing but cheat reps. Like they won't even tell. I'm going to give myself a nice little recovery, talk to more people. And, uh, man, I'm like amped up. I'm like hyper-focused. I, I can keep talking. I just don't have anything to say. 
So mm -hmm. I think I'm doing pretty good on time. It's already 9, 19. And this is only my second exercise. Maybe I'm not going to do any good in time. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'm more behind than I than I really thought. So I'm pretty sure I got here at like 8.20. Could be wrong, but no, it was not 8.20. Maybe it was. Screw it, 8.30. It's been roughly almost an hour since I've been here. This is only my second exercise, so. And I haven't been scrolling TikTok like I normally do. I've been talking, which is good. I'm at home by myself all day doing some boring work. So I come here, you know, I like to talk to people. And as you can see right now, I'm, like, I'm just rambling on about nothing. What do I want to do after this? Or I guess, what's part of the plan? Oh, lap pull downs, okay. Stop man pearls, I hate those. And I still did not write down what I switched that with. So apparently I did 40, 50, and 50, so. I think I re replaced it with the uh, the cable curl, like behind the, behind the body. You know what, that's what I'm gonna put down, cable curl. That's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I thought I was going to move to six sets or six, six reps again, but uh, huh. I did try it harder to slow down the contraction. That definitely did help out a lot, which is probably why I was making these six reps. Uh, I think that they were 2% better than the first set. And by better, I mean less cheating. Like there was cheating involved, it's just 2% less, I think. I don't know how it looked like in the camera, but that's just how it felt. That could be completely wrong, but uh, that's fine. Ah, oh, man, that wiped me out. I got one more set. I already forgot what I said I was gonna do next. Uh. 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 <sighs> All right, that's it for this. Let's move on. Man, I'm carrying way too much shit. <sighs> like I have this bag. I got the tripod. I got my Stanley. And uh, I basically like got a pack of trip. Got a pack like I'm flying out to the next machine out here. <sighs> And I could just carry the tripod with me, but then where am I going to put my water bottle? I don't want to carry it in my hand, so I'll bring the backpack, you know. And then once I'm done, I don't want to carry the whole camera with me, so I'll put it in the bag. And I just carry the tripod or the monopod. And yeah, I don't know what the point of that was. It's just, I got to put all my stuff away. Every single time I move to another machine. I'm not gonna lie, I just got real fucking hungry. I uh, haven't had much to eat if I had like over a thousand calories because of the McDonald's that I ate today. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But actually, no, I had a bowl of fries this morning because I woke up hungry. I was like, all right, I'll figure out what I have to eat later. Just I know the one thing that I can make is a bowl of fries, pour that in there, put it in the air fryer, 10 minutes later, just eating a bowl of fries. Put some ketchup on there, it's good. They weren't the best, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot to shake them and some of them were burnt, but oh well. And uh, then I had a McDonald's. Then I ate right before coming here. And uh, it wasn't, it was actually, no, 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 it was, it was good. I think the correct term for that I had was a sloppy joe burger. I could be mistaken, but it was like barbecue chicken on a bun. That's it. Uh, I wish I put more chicken on the actual bun burger, whatever it is. 
because uh, it was not enough. That, that, that was basically all the protein that I had. Like out, out of the thousand calories from the McDonald's meal that I had, it probably contained like 10, 15 grams of protein, if that. But, oh well, I'll just have to do better tomorrow. Uh, I'll have more time tomorrow. I can plan for tomorrow because everything in my fridge should be thawed out by now and regular refrigerated. It should not be frozen. So, I should be good from that aspect. If not, I will have time, or at least I should have time, to go to uh, Chipotle. It will be another thousand calories out of the burrito, but at least it's better. A thousand calories out of the Chipotle burrito is going to be better than a thousand calories from the McDonald's meal. It's just a fact, you know? So that is my option. I'm not supposed to, I'm, my treadmill is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So that might play a factor in there. Don't know what time it's going to be out for delivery, but Chipotle opens at 1045. They're five minutes down the road. If I'm there, as soon as they open, assuming that I don't have, I don't have any meetings this time, then I'd be good to go. I would have done that today if I did not have a meeting at 11 o'clock. That's basically what held me up, that meeting. Um, which, hey, I should have planned around it, but it is what it is. The meeting, it's, it's my job. You know, it's not like I can avoid a meeting. It's my responsibility and I have to attend. But tomorrow should be a lot easier day. I'm hoping to make these burritos, like start meal prepping now. I, the stuff that I meal prepped in the video last, the last video, which I didn't actually meal prep, I just tried them out, was not the best. They were okay. I would have made it again today if none of the stuff was frozen, but if I didn't pinch and I don't want to go out, but I have that, it would take me 15, 20 minutes to make that, which I think is a reasonable amount of time. But uh, what I want to meal prep is that down a bunch of videos on TikTok, from TikTok, on how to meal prep these burritos, like two or three different types of burritos, uh, some other bowls. And I think I'm gonna start making that. They look pretty good. And uh, yeah, because the more food that I have prepped, I can just pull it out of the fridge, microwave it, and just eat it, the easier things are going to be. So yeah. So that should be happening in the next couple of days. Uh, I probably, I will not be testing them out. More than likely, I won't be testing them out. Like I'll test it out once I make it, but I'll be prepping, I'll be making the allotted amount of meals. Instead of just making one meal, I'll make four or five. And if I don't like it, then you know what? I have to eat the food. I've got to start somehow. You know, I got to stop prepping food. <sighs> Actually, before I do this next set, I need to find out how much I can do. Just did 110, but I don't know, six reps. I could do 160. Yep, we're doing 160. I've done six, seven reps. So I am going to be able to do another six or seven. Try to go for eight. I don't know why, but apparently the most I've ever done is 190 for nine reps. But I only did that for one set. I don't know if I marked it down incorrectly. But I'm going to try that next. Because that was three sessions ago. So, fuck it, why not? I'll try it out. And I did, apparently I did nine reps. Is that right? Yeah, nine reps, so. Uh, hopefully I can do those. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, I'd be surprised if I'm able to do that. But the 160 was way too easy. It was a waste of time for me. So, we'll give it a try. Oh. 
Now that was a real working set. That was way harder than the first set. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete 160 that I did. Doesn't count. I'm just gonna shift it over to the warm up so that I know like, hey, this isn't heavy. And then we put 190 for set number one for six reps. I don't know why I've only been doing 160 for the last three sessions. It's what I have marked down. Like I could do more. Don't know why I didn't do more. I, I, it's it's kind of stupid of me to be at 160. Like I did 160 for like say eight reps, six reps. Um, but really I should have done 190. Or I should have done at least eight, 170, 180. But there's no mention of like anything in between. I just jumped from 160 to 190. So I fucked up. And sometimes even when you track your workouts, you miss a small detail. Uh, I really want to come up with an app on how to track your workouts. Like I personally want to make the app myself. And I have a concept idea of it. Like I can program, I'm not the greatest of it, but like I understand the concept. And with this new AI stuff that's been coming out, I mean, it's been more and more in my head that I should make an iOS app. Like I've made one in the past, it was a way to manage your money. It was just, it was the way that I was managing my money back in the day. I made the concept, never really came to fruition. Like I put it in the app store. I don't know if it's still there. I doubt that it's still there, but this is like at least 10 years, over 10 years, 10 years ago. Yeah. So, uh, I want to make the app myself, put it all together, use, you know, the AI that's coming out to really help me build the app and put it all together. Maybe even add some AI into the app on like, Hey, this is how you're doing so far. This is what you should do today. You know, kind of basically make this AI into like an almost of a personal trainer uh, that will tell me and whoever uses this app that like, Hey, you've done this in the past. Try doing this today. As far as reps and weights go, you know, I don't know how I would train the model for that, but you know, I think that's a something that I would like to explore. I and really make myself. I don't know. If there's an app out out there like that. I don't think so. But uh, I definitely would like to use this app myself, and I think I might actually start using it like, and making it because I've been asking AI ChatGPT for a while, like how I can the structure the back end of the database to keep track of the workouts a few times but it's just i'm so used to using python the programming language that i'm not familiar with the swift programming language i mean i was never really familiar with it but i'm sure it'll be easier for me to pick up more now than back then because i've gained more knowledge in programming overall not a lot but i would say i would say a significant amount than compared to what I used to know back in the day. So I think that's how I'm gonna start spending my weekends is building this app. Because I think it would be very beneficial, not only for me, but for a lot of people who wanna have an idea of what to do. Cause that's one of my biggest downfall of like when I first started training was like, I didn't really know what to do. Like sure there was programs that was following, but like I wasn't being told like, hey, this is, you did eight reps with this. It's time for you to go up and wait. Okay, sure, you're struggling with this weight. Stay here and try it again. Or ask me questions of like, did you go to failure in this exercise? Or did you do harder? How was this? And I kind of like ask questions after every exercise on how you felt about it to really understand how hard you're pushing yourself. I'm sure like I could say this exercise was a RPE of 10, but if that's what I think, all right, let me reiterate re that. I could pretend, or I could say an exercise was an R RPE of 10, but if I'm new beginner, like I'm a new trainer, right? never worked that before, I don't know what an RPE of 10 really is, because I've never been there. I've never trained that hard, but really the RPE that, that I'm thinking about is really a five. 
Like I push myself to a level of a five, but I think it's a 10 because I've never gone beyond a five. And so asking questions and diving deeper into like, yeah, this is why I felt this way. Almost like a therapist, I guess, to really understand like how you're feeling about the workout. Not just saying, all right, what would you rate this exercise? Sometimes it's not that simple, especially for people that are just starting out, working out, you know, it's just, they might say it was okay, it was hard, it was difficult, but like, was it really that difficult? Like, sure, like, I'm pushing myself way harder now than I used to 10 years ago. And that's because I've learned and grown. And I think having this AI app that I would like to build can bridge that gap a lot quicker. It's just a thought so far, but I think that'd be amazing. Don't steal my idea. I definitely built some muscle from that, without a doubt. I completely forgot how many reps I did. I think I did, I did six, right? Let's move over to the uh, not Zotman curl. We all know I don't like this attachment. Because it's not the one that I need right now. This D handle is one of my favorites. I don't know why. I don't like the metal ones. This one. Best one to use in my personal opinion. Alright. I think last time I did like 70. And that was difficult for me. Quick warm up with 40s. Oh, let's do 50. It's already on there. Oh yeah, here we go. The not, not Zotman Cross. Now that I remember, last time I did this, my left one was having some uh, discomfort, discomfort issues. So let's uh, let's do it again. Oh, yeah, this is light and it hurts. So something's definitely wrong with my left side, but uh, I'm just gonna push through the pain. It is 70, all right? Eight reps, right? On both sides. I'm not gonna lie. I already forgot what the first set was on the, on the right side, so I think that was eight on, on both sides. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna put down. This is, today's workout's not that bad. The gym is pretty empty. Very surprising considering it that it is a Monday night. Mondays are notorious with the gyms being busy. But at this gym specifically, Mondays, they're not really that busy. Tuesdays, everybody and their mom comes in, which is very crazy and very strange considering that the norm is Monday, busy, Tuesday, less busy, Wednesday, less, less busy, 
Thursday and Friday, way less busy. Friday, Saturday, well, Saturday, busy in the morning, less busy in the afternoon, and really empty on Sunday. Uh, here, Monday seems to be like the only day that it's not very busy, at least in the afternoons. Like sure, sometimes it's pretty busy in here, but this gym is not a normal gym. Like it has nothing fancy about it, but I think the people that go to this gym are great people. Like they're, it's very easy to spark up a conversation with almost anybody. Uh, there's like a lot of great people here. Uh, people are friendly, people are nice. I mean, lifetime people are really nice as well, but I was also smaller, insecure, kind of shy. I didn't really want to talk to anybody, but it's a whole other story. Uh, but like here, it just seems like it's a cool place to be and just hang out. I haven't felt that hard in a long time. Like, damn. I think I, I need to move on. That was a pretty decent workout. The one thing that I did not do was the uh, shoulder shrugs. And I should have done them. I didn't want to. Uh, I planned on doing them, don't get me wrong. I did a few sets of the um, calf machine and I uh, didn't record it or anything. And then I was gonna go do the barbell shrugs. I just never did them. I never went to go do them. I left the gym and I forgot about them until just now. So that's my bad. Uh, my calves are, I did a few, quite a few sets. I did like, I did like four or five sets or so. Uh, didn't really count them, didn't count the reps. I was mainly going to, I did the calf machine to really feel my calf working, you know? Uh, my goal wasn't to improve. I mean, overall it is my goal, but I mainly wanted to get like a good, nice juicy pump in my calves. Uh, just kind of like relax from the whole bicep and back workout. And uh, it's pretty good, good pump. Uh, and the other thing that I kind of did that I didn't really, really record, actually, I don't think I recorded it at all, was uh, rear delts. And uh, I did some kind of like strange variation with the cable. Uh, wasn't really effective doing it with the, uh, the ropes. I haven't felt very well. Uh, so I just kind of did like five, 10 pounds with the, uh, just the cable himself, one arm just kind of pulling it back. Uh, kind of really exhausting myself with it. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, that's it. Man, I'm tired. I'm like falling asleep as I'm talking, so I'm gonna go home. Make sure you will click on the video that's showing up here and go watch that one, please. Don't forget to like this video. I need you to do one of them, please, because I need to go home. Click somewhere. Come on, man.